right next to the Riley and Kimmy show booth is a superhero. Now, if Kimmy will move the camera just to show the superhero real quick here, it is Tug, the Bull Terrier puppy, here at Space Coast Comic Con in Cocoa, Florida this weekend. Come out to Space Coast Comic Con and see Tug. Find about his story. Also find comic books about Tug and art, which you can see uh, behind Tug there. And next to me is Tug's dad. That is Blake Ovard. Hello, Blake. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Riley and Kimmy Show and also Animal Special. And you are actually right next to us here at Space Coast Comic Con. And we've been a fan of Tugs for a year, actually, since uh, last Space Coast right. Comic Con. Right, yeah. Yeah, last year was our first year here. Obviously, it was the first first Space Coast Comic Con. Uh, we were really happy to be a part of it. We're still really excited to be a part of it and really happy to be next to y'all, actually. Oh, that's, it's cool. Now, tell me a little bit about Tug. Uh, for those who don't know, it is a very touching story. It is a very sad story with a happy ending, actually. Happy ending, yes. That And that's the part that matters. Um, Tug, when he was about four months old, about yay big um, was wrapped up in a blanket and they took a yard stake like one of those wooden yard stakes and staked that blanket down next to the side of the hideway and just left him to die um, he was covered about 80 percent of his body with demodectic mange uh, which was advanced to the point to where he's basically a big scab um, and had about 13 other infections uh, my wife and i were both animal control officers at the time so we got the call, we took him back to the shelter. Um, nobody came forward as an owner to claim him. And uh, so at the end of that three day hold period, he was put on the euthanasia list. So we decided we would take him home and whatever it took, we'd help get him better. Do you, uh, well, since you work with animals already ahead of time, uh -huh. I'm sure you were tight with other vets that were on board with you, or did you have problems with a vet or two that said, I think this is a, a no-win situation, this is not advisable? Actually, the very first vet we took him to said that, said he was just too far gone, just put him down. Uh, who the, Our vet, who we have now, we took him to the very next morning, and he said, well, you know, there's not much of a chance, but there is a chance. And we said, well, that's all we need is a chance. And uh, so, you know, a lot of love and medicine and time, and he started getting better. And so now he's a superhero. He is. And when did you make him part of the comic book? When did Tug's story go into the comic book and then the art? Well, we, as he got better and everything, of course, we kept posting on Facebook and, and his page kept growing. And, and so we had people telling us that they would like to see him as a kid's book because I have a background as an illustrator and I work for a lot of magazines and things like that, newspapers and fine art I have in galleries and a couple of museums and stuff. And so they said, make a kid's book. Well, we didn't really want to do a kid's book because they're kind of, they're not really open-ended and we kind of, there's, there's not an ending to that story yet. And so we said, well, we could do individual stories if we want to, or we could focus more on the superhero aspects of it and do a comic book. And that's how the comic book actually came about. And so, you know, as, as a result of that, we go to schools, we do anti-bullying uh, programs and self-esteem programs. Uh, because, because of all that, his fan base kept growing on Facebook. One of his fans uh, wrote in to the AKC, the American Kennel Club, um, and he was nominated for their award for canine excellence, which is their highest award they give which is kind of like being nominated for an Oscar. It's a real honor just to be nominated. And so we thought that was really cool. Well, about four months later, they called us and told us we won. And so that was really cool at that point. Um, and then because of his comic book and because of those accomplishments and because of him going to kids' hospitals and old folks' homes and doing to the schools and everything, uh, Rachel Ray <laughs> flew us up to be on her show and let the word get out a little bit more about that and and let everybody know that all the proceeds from the comic books and any of the art that I do all goes back to help others. And so... That, that is fantastic. Now, I have a question to ask sure. with this. Is Tug okay being in big crowds like this? Is Tug doing all right is, or is he getting stressed out at all? Oh, no, he's fine. He... Uh, Ever since we had him, you know, when he was four months old, when we were taking pictures for update, he's been used to a camera. Okay. So the camera was no, no issue. We socialized him real well, so people weren't an issue. Um, and as, as he was getting better, and when we started going to schools, he was already socialized. So those are smaller groups of people. Well, the groups now are just bigger, you know, and, and 
he's like a five-year-old in a dog suit, <laughs> you know, and so he knows when to be good and when not to be good. And uh, but no, crowds don't bother him at all. There's really nothing that shakes him. He's he's really one in a million. He's really a superhero. Now, do you have a, a a passion for the bull terrier? I know it's Tui's a bull, a bull terrier too. Tui's a bull, yeah. Tui's a bull terrier as well. Um, neither one of us actually had had bull terriers wow. before Tug, and and now we have four. <laughs> um, but Tui is a, is a miniature bull terrier, and he's a puppy basically coming up under Tug as a protege. Gotcha. Um, and so part of our anti-bullying program that Tug does, we've kind of included Tui on that as well, and we're now doing a thing that's called Buddy Benches. Mm. And it's part of the program, so when kids are feeling bullied or ostracized or anything, they can go sit on the bench, and we give that bench to the school. Oh. It's just something we give to them when we do the program. And all the other kids, because they go to the program, know that they should go over and be a friend for that kid. Gotcha. And so that, that's going to be Tui's special project. Gotcha. But he's, he's the protege, and you can look for him. We would have had issue four out already of his comic book, but we had to go back and rewrite about half of it because we wanted to put Tui Aww. in it. And so we, we were about two months, three months, a little more than that behind because we had to redo everything. And, of course, you know, that changed all the art and everything. So Now, are the books available through your Facebook page, a website? Uh, how can somebody find the comic books, or do they have to find you at a, a local show somewhere? Most of the time, it's a whole lot easier to find us at the show. Uh, but you can order them from us straight away. The easiest way, just to send me a message or an email, and, okay. and we go that route. We do have the podographed version. Um, on his website, it costs more because we include the shipping in that. Gotcha. Um, and we're almost out of number one. That's just the first printing. Uh, we printed about, I forget, I think it's about 5,500 originally on that. And we're down to what you see here is all we have left. Fantastic. Um, so, though. That's great. Yeah. And then Neil Adams came on board as well, Joe Rubenstein. Uh, Neil did the cover for issue four. I mean, I mean three sorry that's okay uh joe rubenstein did the cover for issue four which is the one we're doing all because the, that you know they heard tug's message and they are big animal lovers and they wanted to get involved too um and then al bigley did the original cover on issue one uh the only cover that i've actually done even though i've done all the interiors is for number two and uh we have a couple other really big name folks that want to do that as well um but i don't try and get too far ahead uh we have someone for issue five and then we have a couple others for six and seven but i don't want to get too far ahead but you will know who they are when they come out okay and the best way to stay linked with that is through tugs social media that's facebook instagram twitter yep and we'll put links to that on our website at rileyandkimmy.com and also have them on our facebook page as well blake it's a pleasure talking to you i look forward to spending more time with you here this weekend at space coast comic con and thank you for what you and kim joy did in rescuing tug and for rescuing all the dogs that you do oh you know it's part of it's our passion so no thanks for helping us out